Welcome back everyone to the Kenshi Gang playthrough. It's your boy Cool Kid Croc and we're here on day 125 and as you see our Swamp Frog Ribbit is currently fighting a skin spider. Things are still pretty crazy over here in the last episode we kind of had a lot of trials and tribulations to go through. First we discovered the Hydra which is an insane monster we had to run from. Followed by the Fishman Island Adventure then when we got home Shex arrived and literally killed two of our gangsters. This led to the gang needing to travel to a way station to get a bunch of new limbs for the now crippled colony. B01 Badagaru off a nomad animal trader which was amazing. We could finally change its backpack to get all the loot out that we had in the other backpacks we brought back maybe six or so episodes ago. Only problem is that I had a mod which makes all the animals in the game really strong. I've tried to find this mod. I don't know if it was deleted or nuked from Kenshi or what happened but I cannot find the mod in my mod list and I don't know which mod is still making them this strong but he's a pop garu and he already hits for over a hundred damage so i will until i figure out which mod is doing this to me and making all the garus in the game stronger than beak things um we're gonna have to leave him at bad guy city for a majority of the time along with that zagan is getting kind of op and people are starting to complain about him too so we're gonna move him into the city bye bye zagan and then i moved cat back into the top cheese now i'm going to be getting everyone together as we're planning an adventure i want to do something new or cool today so i I realize there's still a few places in the game which I haven't explored before even myself and I have nearly 700 hours of playtime. So I decided today the gang would be traveling up north and heading into the Leviathan Coast. The goal is to find some of Kenshi's biggest monsters, the Leviathans, and if we're lucky we're maybe even going to fight one and take one down. Now I've been super busy recently with the content grind as well as in my real life between work and my son and the YouTube stuff, so this episode's come out a bit late but I do have a big announcement to thank everybody who's been supporting the series and my channel me and the devs of Sands of Salazar have teamed up again but this time we're not giving out just five keys I'll be giving out 10 keys total for the game Sands of Salazar plus a DLC code for their newest tournament DLC if you haven't seen the game yet, check out my 100 Days in Sansa Salazar video. The game's a lot like Kenshi and Dynasty Warriors and a little bit of Mountain Blade mixed in. I'm planning a few more videos on that game as well. Either way, if you want to enter, all you got to do is join my Discord in the description below. It's in my link tree, which has the links for all my different social medias. All you got to do there is join the Discord, go to the giveaway chat, and then enter the little celebration emote. There'll be a button right under the giveaway. I'm running two of these for two weeks each the first one ends in 14 days and then we're gonna go for another one for 14 days there will be five winners in each giveaway and the first giveaway we ran we only had like 50 to 80 people enter so come on in join the discord enter the giveaway and good luck to everyone and of course thank you to the sands of salazar devs for supporting this giveaway with that all said and done back to the video the gang will be traveling north which will hold many challenges for them to face first they'd find a few weak bandage which wasn't too bad but the group still needs to travel all the way through through hive territory along with a fog lands in order to get close to the top of the map. Luckily the hive territory is pretty chill and the gangsters wouldn't find any enemies there. So they would run as fast as possible until they got all the way to the fog islands. But instead of entering and going straight through they would run around the border of the fog islands and go farther west until they could travel north without having to go straight through the fog islands. I didn't want to have to get stopped by a bunch of groups of fogmen or possibly get injured before we get to the leviathan coast as realistically there's no way we're going to be able to fight leviathans if everybody's all beat up and injured so we got past the fog islands and by 5 a.m we were traveling by villages and leading into the shrieking forest now i knew this would be a big risk the shrieking forest is really dangerous as we've learned in two separate episodes of a gang series so far for the first half of a run it went really well but they were eventually stopped by the last few shrieking bandits who were running with a group. It was only a few, so the gangsters would kill those bandits and continue to run up all the way into the purple sands, which led to them running into even more bandits. And of course, there's a fair number of them to fight. But as the battle started, the top G's began to fight the group of shrieking bandits. Looking around, I could see that slowly they were being surrounded. So I knew at this point the best choice for us would be to gather everybody up and get them sprinting as fast as possible 
possible up north. If we stay to fight these bandits, then they're only going to have to fight more and more of them as time goes on. And sure enough, looking at B01, I could see it was just like zombies. A huge horde of shrieking bandits were following behind. This was definitely not good. Some of these bandits are high level and faster than our group, so even though we're running away, we're still getting hit on and off by them. This means we can't just escape to the top of the map as people will get knocked out or die in a process, so we're gonna have to stop and group up somewhere to fight the bastards. Easily over 100 bandits were following the top G's and everyone was spread across the map. We've still got a decent distance to go to get to the Leviathan coast and with no local cities or outposts, we'll need to meet up and start the battle soon. A Shrek Proving arrived at Bad Guy City, but I had no time to deal with that as the top G's are literally about to start a war with how many bandits are around. I then looked at a shrieking bandit group and found a terrifying looking bandit called the Groaning Foothead. He has really high stats and obviously will be somebody we don't want to fuck with. We're currently fucking with him though and he's uh, running at us. I plan to get everybody to gather on the outskirts of a floodlands which is pretty much home to nothing but there are some wild sailbacks we could lead the bandits into. Poor Ribbit was running for his life through the bandits attempting to get to the meetup location as well. Beep was the first to arrive, followed by a few others, which was followed by a huge line of mostly shrieking bandits. In between all the bandits, there's the odd gangster who was still catching up and running in between them. This was not good. I mean, we must have attracted all of the bandits within a 20 mile radius. I watched that foot person. He was fighting three of our people and he took down each of them with just one hit. This has gone way past being not good or being insane. This is just fucked now. There were way more bandits than there were gangsters. And even with the wild sailbacks fighting them, it was not looking good. B01 and others that weren't knocked out yet were fighting, but they still got overwhelmed very fast. I mean, I couldn't really blame them. They had still attracted about a hundred or so bandits just by running through the area. It came down to just being up to B01 and Chompy. With Chompy being able to one hit a lot of them, it still really wasn't enough to save the gangsters from an insane battle of this size. These footmen were going off okay i've never seen them before but they make an already tough bandit group even more strong and unstoppable of course b01 would hold his own for as long as possible but as different gangsters got back up for battle crispy would end up getting up to fight and a footman ran up with an insane strike which dealt over 100 damage which would of course kill the poor guy right there. We were screwed at this point. Everybody was knocked out, bleeding, and we already had one death in the party. So our plans to go to the Leviathan coast were essentially foiled. I decided to say screw it, we saved and then reset squad positions back to bad guy city. I really do apologize guys, I wanted to fight Leviathans this episode but in order to do that I think we're gonna have to go the long way around or avoid the lands where the Shrieking Bandits hang out. For now though, we can move on to other things. Everyone is really hurt right now, so we're gonna have to spend some time resting and healing up again. Poor Dr. Jules, he was glitched out or something. He kept standing up and then being brought back to the ground over and over again, kept on rotating and T-posing to the ground. I thought he was gonna be doing that all the episode, like I couldn't get him to escape until a few loops later. Dr. Jules would then go rest in a bed, not even to heal his wounds from a battle, but to really self-reflect and think what the hell was just going on now we're hurting and we're almost broke we're at around 87,000 cats so i decided to check out Vigaru's backpacks from before which i thought maybe had like 100 or 200k worth of cats to sell but in reality there's maybe like 30k worth of cats this is because i grabbed one of the wrong backpacks i grabbed one of the backpacks that was for caravan trading supplies instead of a backpack that was filled with weapons on a bright side at least we have a bunch of dead shecks at the base to loot up so after getting their weapons we'll be able to bring those to the local way station for a lot of profit. I loaded B01 up with a loaded Garu backpack as well as picked up a dead bandit so we could begin strength training. It's best to do this while the group travels as it slows them down a bit but at least he's protected and getting it done. We really didn't need much from the way station though. I mean after selling all of the loot that we had brought and seeing as there was no food left for the gang to buy, they would all just decide to go back to Bad Guy City. 
Our two main goals right now is of course making money so we can get better equipment and two also getting stronger. After meeting that crazy foot person in a shrieking forest, it proved to us that the group is still far off from being able to step up to the best Kenji has to offer. I had a whole bunch of ideas, but of course they were interrupted by some Shek guards who were doing a patrol. The group is constantly having to heal and rest after these battles, so getting stronger to the point where these battles aren't as impactful to the group is a must. I had B01 walking in and outside of a city walls for strength training when it kind of hit me. What if I was able to build a really long walkway for him, or perhaps something like a maze so it'd be easier to strength train? So it began, the coolest idea I've had in a while. I began preparations and laid down all the blueprints for what will become our strength training maze. The goal is to make it so that there is one start and one finish, so each time we click back and forth, the characters will travel at a safe speed to the end of a maze and then click the entrance so they do it again. We'll fill up their backpacks and overload them with weight as well as get them to carry somebody and essentially just repeat walking back and forth like that until we hit the desired strength level. Of course it's Kenshi so the building is a bit wacky, but it's nothing I'm not used to. You guys gotta remember, I used to live with my baby mom, so I can practically do anything under pressure. I closed off a box shape for the maze right next to Bad Guy City and began to set up the walls in between it. I'd be making straight walls with a hole on each end of a line, that way we could get to the end. By the end, it looked pretty insane, but I gotta say it looked really good. I used basic walls, so they only cost one building material each, but we're still looking at around 200 to maybe 300 building materials, plus a lot of work to be done. The gangsters of Bad Guy City would begin to start to build the basic walls and setting up the maze, while Beezer one continued his strength training, but by 12 p.m. of day 128, most of Bad Guy City would be targeted by some traveling Sheks who knocked out all of our people, even decapitating one of Toro's arms. Luckily, B01 had an extra arm to give Toro, as well as Zagan was there, so he could take care of his Sheks. But a majority of our gangsters were injured again, so it slowed down progress on the maze quite a bit. That's when I decided to have B01 try to walk through the maze, to which I learned a lot of the terrain and pathways that I built around were inaccessible. Oh no! All of that work for nothing! Fuck! <laughs> okay, so, so I made some changes to the design. It would shorten the maze length a bit, but hey, at least it'd be usable and close to what I was going for. We'd be able to go from start to finish, so I poked some holes into the wall in certain locations where you weren't able to move until B01 was on path to travel from the start to the end. The funny thing is, we don't even need building materials. I mean, you could legit build one of these in the middle of nowhere, and since the path is already laid out, they'll just continue going down the path. But of course, I'm going to continue construction so it looks nice when it's done and it doesn't look like this the entire series. <laughs> By afternoon time of day 129, everyone was pretty much back to work while B01 did his laps. We've got a long way to go, but in the next episode, I plan to strength train a lot and maybe get some skeletons so we can start to do some additional training. I want to thank everybody who's been supporting the series and my content so far. This episode is a bit late. I've been working a lot in real life and lots of other content related stuff, but I'm trying my best to do my best. Hopefully, I'll have the next episode up by next Sunday. Make sure if you didn't already, check out the giveaway in the description through the link tree by joining the Discord. I'll be running two for the next month as well as more in the future through it so join while you can as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace yeah, yeah.